It is another episode of Crime This Week, your weekly program that brings you all the top crime reports within the week. Crime This Week brings you the facts and latest updates on crime reports in your neighborhood and across Nigeria. You will also get free security tips on how to better safeguard yourself while you get to know some little things that can possibly dispose you to crime. I am blessing Izija. All this ammunition, I know, I don't know, I don't know anything about this ammunition, but I still. We begin with what's trending about the arrest of one of the suspected gunmen who attacked the convoy of a popular Nigerian pastor, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, in October 2022. The suspect, that is 32-year-old Isa Yusuf, confessed to being involved in the attack launched on Apostle Suleiman's convoy. According to Isa, Apostle Suleiman was their target, but since they could not get him, they opened fire and killed other people who are in the convoy. The pastor escaped in his bulletproof car, making people wonder why he did not use bulletproof cars for all his followers who were part of the convoy. My name is Isa Yusuf. I'm 32 years old. Where are you from? I'm from Kobe State, Okene, okay, local government. What brought you here? I was among the people that attacked Apostle Johnson Suleiman. For how long have you been with the gun? Since 2021. How many of you have been with the gun? Four, including Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Why did you attack Apostle Johnson Suleiman? Actually, it was a case of assassination, but I don't have the I don't have the details of the operation. So it was um, Ilyasu and Lapista that have the full information. You actually to... wanted to assassinate him. Yes, sir. Are you part of the discussion? Why did no. you want to assassinate him? No, I'm not part of the discussion. What's your job in that gang? What's your own role? What 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 is your major role in the gang? Like we said before, sir, I'm the first person that opened fire on the convoy of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. So you, you, you are the maxman, the main man that handles the gun? Yes, sir. Which gun were you holding on to that day? AK-47 rifle. How did you get it? I met the gun with the groups. When you joined them? Yes, met, sir. Yeah, met I met the gun when I joined the group, sir. So I, the gun was already existing before I joined the group. Okay. Any other thing you want to know? So where is Elias or Kobe? We are working on those ones. We are working on those ones. Don't worry. We don't want to dwell much on that. When 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 we get them, we are still going to call you again. Your journey to this place will be frequent now because the IG personally has interest in briefing the world, engaging the journalists. In fact, every month, towards the end of every month, the IGP is addressing you personally on achievement of the Nigerian police force. So I'm, I can show you. We are still coming back to this place very soon. So don't let us dwell much on the issue of the flame members. We are closing in them and we're going to get them. Trinity Guy is still being remanded in prison together with the parents of the 10-year-old girl who Trinity Guy sexualized in one of his kit or prank videos. The court during proceedings ordered that the trio be remanded in prison till the next court proceeding adjourns till 3rd August 2023. Did you know that selling a vehicle that has no documents can land you a police case and you that is buying a vehicle without documents? Just know that you might be getting yourself into trouble. One Ahmed Ayinde has been arrested by the police after he attempted to sell a Suzuki minibus popularly known as Korope. The bus still has its number plate attached to the vehicle. According to police reports, they were alerted that Ainde was trying to sell off the bus along the Solo Road, Mushin, Lagos State, without documents. The suspect has been arrested and the bus recovered. Five suspected courtists between the ages of 19 to 20 years have been arrested by the operatives of Tolu Division of the Lagos State Command. The suspect were arrested around 2 a.m. on Sunday, July 9, 2023, following a distress call to the police on an ongoing forceful initiation 
happening in a hotel in Ajegunle, Lagos State. Police reports state that the victim was successfully rescued while the suspects will be arraigned upon conclusion of the investigations. Meanwhile, another 33-year-old suspected cultist, Idris Ayila, has been arrested by operatives of the Lagos Rapid Response Squad in Ikoi. Weapons recovered from him include one semi-automatic pistol, four live ammunition and one hat with cult insignia. The suspect, that is Ayila, alongside three other occupants, were in a red Toyota Matrix heading towards Oniru Beach when the operatives on routine patrol at Admiralty Road, Ikoyi, flagged them down. Reports disclosed that the driver of the car tried to bribe the police, an offer that was rejected but rather insisted on searching the vehicle. According to police reports, the suspect sensed danger and all ran out of the car but this very one, Idris Ayinla, was shot by the operatives on the leg while attempting to escape. He was arrested and a firearm was recovered from him. The suspect has since then been transferred to the command headquarters and will be arraigned in court after harmonization with ongoing investigations. Meanwhile, efforts are still on to arrest the fleeing suspects. Similarly, in Ogun State, a cross section of suspected cultists were paraded by the command. One of the cultists, or one of the suspects, 21 year old Saka Olawale, was apprehended by the police. Lawale was accosted while planning to unleash terror around somewhere called Ogijo in Ogun State. He confessed to being a member of the dreaded Aye confraternity. 33-year-old Francis Okere was also arrested for alleged court-related activities. They will be arraigned in court after completion of investigations. Meanwhile, the Ogun State Police Command through its official Twitter page has given amnesty to those who were lured into cultism without knowing the implication to renounce their membership to the cult groups and surrender all arms and ammunition to their custody. The command shared a phone number to be contacted for those courtists who wish to key into the amnesty. You can find out more details on this on Twitter via the handle at Ogun Police NG. Moving on, 48-year-old Laurentia Ochin has been involved in a case of child abuse. Ochin, who is now in police custody for brutalizing her nephew, gave her little nephew Max all over his back. The woman has been arrested and is in police custody. Did you know that street fights can land you in trouble? Youths from Arowade and Olalaye streets in Ajegunle engaged in street fights. Although there was no casualty as many of them fled upon sighting the police, two suspects involved in the fight were caught by the police. Update on a viral video circulated online within the week where yes, some police officers in River State were seen assaulting a man in Oyibo disclosed that the erring officers have been identified and arrested. Reports shared in a statement signed by the Public Relations Officer River State Police Command SP Grace Iringe Koko disclosed that the erring officers are undergoing trial for their unprofessional acts. Police operatives serving in Okuna North Division of Enugu State Command within the week dislodged armed individuals after intercepting them around a place known as One Day in Okuna North Enugu State. The armed criminals were reported to be snatching an Entraco branded Sharon minivan from its driver at gunpoint in a bid to enforce the seat at home order. Meanwhile, police operatives swooped in. After a gun duel between the criminals and the police, the police operatives of the command recovered the lifeless bodies of four of the male hoodlums who tried to escape in a forest behind G. Ede police station and 7-Up at Okunano, Enugu. The police also recovered one AK-47 rifle with a magazine loaded with 19 live ammunition, two bottles of petrol bomb, and other incriminating exhibits. 
A resident doctor and professor of medicine in Calabar has been reportedly kidnapped at her residence. This was confirmed by the chairman of the Nigerian Medical Association, First River State Branch, Dr. Felix Achibong, who is now calling for the release of the doctor as well as on the government to help in the security of lives and properties in the state. Branch, I'm here to give a report on one of our members that was kidnapped. A female professor of medicine was kidnapped at our residence yesterday at about 7.15 p.m. The adopters went there disguising themselves to be patient and when she gave them audience, they brought out weapons and she was taken away. We are very sure they are kidnappers because they've reached out to the family and have demanded for ransom. So we want the good people of Cross River State, especially the state governor, to reach out and do the needful to protect life and property and release our member unconditionally. Thank you. Five suspects was paraded in Abuja in connection with luring a Swiss national to Nigeria. The suspects claimed to be agents who facilitate gold transactions in Nigeria. Police PRO CSP Olumu Iwa Adejobi, while reading the details of their case, stated that a lady, Neka Opara, had accompanied the prime suspect, Emulari, who is also a music artist, and Samuel Balogun to the airport to pick up the victim. They lodged the victim in the hotel and began to rob him. Meanwhile, Neka Opara, who is Larry's music manager, claims that she was unduly arrested and implicated into the crime. The prime suspect, Emu Larry, gave reasons why he lured and robbed the Swiss national. And it's a wrap on this week's episode on crime this week. Remember that staying alert to your environment can aid your safety and that security is a continuous effort. Subscribe to this channel, News Pop NG. Click on the notification bell below to get notified whenever there is a new content on this program, Crime This Week. Like and share this video and drop your comments down in the comment section. I am Blessing Izija. Thank you for watching.